the sales order agent and the payables agent, already available in many countries. They can help your organization speed up sales and accounts payable, and getting started couldn't be easier. To begin, you'll need to create a shared mailbox that you and your colleagues can use for sending a few test emails. In the Microsoft 365 administration portal, open the Teams and Groups menu, then select Shared Mailboxes. Next, choose Add a Shared Mailbox, then provide a name and email address for it. Save your changes and give it a moment for the mailbox to be created. If you're testing this with colleagues, you can also add them as members so they have access to. Your shared mailbox is now ready. Let's switch over to Outlook and connect it to your account. Here you can see your own email account, most likely already busy with plenty of messages. Now let's go ahead and link the shared mailbox you've just created. Simply type the name of the account and follow a few straightforward steps in the wizard to finish the setup. You can now see all the emails arriving in this shared mailbox, right alongside your own in Outlook. Let's now switch over to Business Central and activate the sales order agent to start monitoring the shared mailbox for requests for sales quotes. Go through the email account creation wizard. Choose Microsoft 365 account type. While you can also use your own account if you prefer, a dedicated shared mailbox helps ensure the agent isn't cluttered with irrelevant emails. Now add the name and email address of the mailbox you have prepared. Once the account is selected, the agent activates automatically, you just need to click update to confirm. That's all. Your agent is active and listening for emails, like your most attentive sales team member. Let's give the agent something to get busy with. Create an email using your own mailbox detailing some items, quantities, delivery dates and so on, and send it to the shared mailbox we've just created. And here it is, the email has landed here. Switching back to Business Central, you'll see the agent has already picked up the email and created a task for you to review it. Because the email is coming from you, you're probably not set up as a contact in your own Business Central environment. But don't worry, adding any sender as a contact is quick and easy. Simply review the details and confirm to create the new contact. You can now confirm for the agent to go ahead and create a sales quote from this email. Give the agent a little time to read through the details, find the items, and fill out the quote. And here you go, the quote is created without you having to painstakingly search for and type in all that information. If you ever need to find your email accounts, just head to the email accounts page. Here you can register new accounts, for example, if you decide to create a shared mailbox to use with your customers, or remove any accounts you no longer need. Ask your colleagues to challenge the sales order agent with some of their own test requests for quotes. See how it handles their tasks and discover the difference it can make for your business.